I'll go for the Baroff. The Baroff has a higher chance of pulling six drops. It's a good lobby for six drops for the most part. Omega Buster, Felbat, Dargaze Elder, uh, Atissa, Orgozoa. It's just those four, first two bets, pretty important. But I could also just hit a demon and then this is a 3-5 already. And Imprisoner is a really good pickup early. So I don't mind that. There it is. I'm trying to see if holding it makes sense, but it doesn't make enough sense to me. Rukon almost always wins early. It's two cats versus this one, but that's Galakrond. He dealt damage. Huh. So he has two units. Two units probably outperforms cats. He has a unit that dealt damage to cats. Okay. Good thing I didn't slam Brucon. <laughs> Thank you so much for the five gifted subs as well. Unexpected DJ. Sorry, it's I'm playing Baroff. I really, really have to focus. Like I can't. This hero is one of the more punishing one where if you mess up, your game gets really bad really fast. So I have to really pour all my attention into this one. Extremely rewarding if you're getting it right though. Super strong. I like staying on one, but I have no pairs and I don't like to shop that much. Might hold Picky Eater for Battlecry and Demon. I think it's better to hold, yeah. So we have a Phelan that tied Omu. Gets one or two cards this turn. Ini with the double Imprisoner. If she doesn't level. I might give it to Eni. This one has Harvest Golem, I think. Harvest Golem's really good, though, against what they have. That's a tough one. Harvest Golem's super good, so... Because it farms the 2-2 stat line so beautifully. Normally I'd say the Eni is favored, but... Harvest Golem's so good here. Uh, missed it anyway. It's okay. Found a demon. Not the end of the world, guys. 20 cards to hand is really good for us. Yeah. yeah, adding the 3 to the hand would have been better here. It's alright. Like I said, shit happens. We ate the wrong one. Uh, but we're strong, we're healthy. Now let's see if we get rich as well. They might drop to 34 here. No. Okay, so they didn't play Demon. Unless they had the armor. They may have had the armor, yeah. So there's two different Galakrons in the lobby, it's good to keep track of that. I oh, did... No, he beat the Eni. I'm gonna go for the level roll, try to get Deflectabot. I have to start working on a backup plan. The high rolling is not happening. Yep. Yeah. Alright, thank you game. Uh, so this is what happens when I play Baroff and I whiff early, I start changing my mindset completely. It's going from how do I win this game to how do I don't take a top 8. So I'm going to try to push for a top 4 instead. Just going to go with the Overseer and the Deflect the next turn. Get nice and powerful. This is on as a tough bet because we don't know if he's taking a minion. They won though, so I'm, I'm going to give it to them. Because they're both Galakrons, but this one dealt 7. It's quite silly. But yeah, it's, it's hard to call because... 
you can take a T-man or you can take an Imbama if they're taking a six drop. The Imbama wins, the T-man loses, so yeah. Lots of different options. All we can do is go with whatever it does best on average. So from this spot, we could still end up winning. It's just going to be more difficult. And we have to take some precautions because if we just play like nothing's going on, like everything is going according to plan, we will die very quickly. That's really the big deal here. Go right. Oh no, it's dead. Nice. Seven damage. Right, at least we take zero here. That's good. One of these wins, or is it a tie? It's a tie. Okay. So you can buy these two and roll, but this is okay, right? So this happens. This happens. And I think it's just trade this for this. this little guy? Ah, good, good. A customer's always right. It's definitely close. Winning the bet is still really, really good, but it's not as important as before because I've already sort of um, started working on a board. I'm not all in on winning the bet, and I have to get the coins to level to buy my triple, etc. Of course, more money is better, so I really do want to win it. This one is absolutely insanely strong. Did they hero power the Overseer and buy it? They may have. All right, that's probably about as good as it gets. Yeah, they probably hear about that Overseer. They're on tier 2. Hmm. Makes sense. All right, we got that bet right. Good shit. <sighs> Leveling or staying? Ground Shake or War Gear? Yeah, I'll take both. Sell the 5 2, I guess. Keep the pair. War gear on here. Ground shake around the board. Enough money to bet. Can only go with what we think is right. So this pair, this triple can still happen, but I'm really looking for a, a gem splitter and more deflecto bots, and then maybe a nice little module on a reset. Eight and twelve over there. Yeah, this tank is gonna murder me if I don't murder the tank. Got seven HP. Oof. Yeah, this is terrible. Murdered by a tank. Perfect combat for them. Their money dies as well. Ah, that's a tough one. Ini did lose, so we are advancing this quest. Wow, hello. Alright, so we are on 15 out of 20. I buy two here. That puts me to... 17. I buy this, that's 18, 19. Is that relevant enough? Probably not. I could triple it, get a 5 drop, and add a lot of cards to my hand. That might still be better, to be honest. Because then I get Mirror Shield and I can just add more gems anyway. It's a bit early, but we don't mind it because it activates our quest. This is really good, but I think I just take the shield for now. Try and be strong. If this came with a divine shield in the shop, it'd be amazing, of course. Alright, so... We no longer need the coins that badly. Thirty seconds. Playing out for sure, and I'm probably losing this.
I do want that other ground shaker. I want the other shield on the board to turn a lot. Not sure if I freeze though. Probably do. Golden Ground Shaker with um, Mirror Shield is quite insane when you have Gem Splitter. Get a ton of gems. <sighs> Alright, reset yourself. Or hit the one thing that doesn't. That's also fine, I guess. I think we're fine. 9 health here is really nice. Alright, so we're on 24 health. We definitely changed our game plan a lot based on those two missed bets. I think Omo did win, or at least tie. Right, we missed the roll here, which kind of sucks. No, I won it. Huge, 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 huge. We can start with this and see what's in the box. It won't be Divine Shielded, but that's okay. I'll put it in the... Ah, uh, no. I'm selling this. No, let's run the really right. I think I put the 813 on the board this turn. I freeze for the menace. Work the problem. If that fails, I <laughs> Oh, he's cleaving, but it's not exactly what we want. I think when you have Golden Ground Shaker, it's really hard to um, just suddenly say, let's uh, let's start playing Agam. It's just so much attack. So now we're trying to push for the... Um, Second Deflectobot, or I guess technically the fourth Deflectobot. Nice. That could be really good. But it's probably just more stats on the Deflecto, but I'll see, I'll see. It's a nice triple if I get it, but I don't think I care. I care about making a reset, so this on any mech will reset. Oof. Might just not be running the Leroy anymore. I could play the Harvest Golem for the reset and try to get a module. Could also just put the Menace down and taunt it. I think one on the here is fine. Maybe just grab these two and just play the golem. But you could also just play the menace. It's probably better to... well... No. Because I don't actually reset, do I? I don't actually reset. Am I even gonna get my coins? Oh, questions for later. It's nice if I can land a uh, Deflectobot now and just put this on there. Make it insta-big. Oh wow. All in on a big taunt is usually not a good play. Big Divine Shield or Leroy punishes that super hard. I 
All right, so we're we're somewhat stable. Our strategy is weak to beasts, but no one is showing beasts, so it's lucky. The reason the strategy is weak to beast is that uh, tokens do really well against shields. So I might even level for a macro now. I got the taunt. I could sell this and taunt this. Yeah. Or I could taunt a different one. I could taunt this and put this on here. But that's just such a small upside. <laughs> right. I'll keep this for this turn, I think, yeah. Huge, 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 huge. I can put the menace on there now. Hmm. Let's buy it and go. Okay, now we're chilling, now we're chilling. So I no longer really need this. But I think I like a second taunt more than I like this. So I want to put the menace, I want to put the module on the golem, and I want to put the menace on the deflectobot. I guess I could sell this and taunt this, but then I could also just sell this. Maybe I don't equip the menace this turn. Maybe it's too much of a headache. Yeah, I think it's too much of a headache. I'm still getting these bets in, but that's a bit weird with all the gems we're getting. It's because I don't really value that last roll that much anyway. Alright, so now that I have two Deflectos and Double Menace, up for Mackerel seems correct. This is very expendable. This taunt is okay, but I do have another taunt backed up. Yeah, even if I win my coins, <laughs> I get like one coin, right? Yeah, That's fine, I traded one coin for a coin instead of rolling it, or I lose it, but whatever. So, Golden Gem Splitter is one thing. This is normally really good, but Murlocs are out, so it doesn't really matter too much. It's good for Queen, but me. So we level, we roll. We exchange this with a different shield. Is there any like insane shield I can find? I guess Hydra, right? Yeah, Hydra be insane. Hmm. That could be one hell of a gem transfer target. Not opposed to that. So you sell the mini mermi. You put the menace on here. I like it. Hey, I said no refunds. Not gonna taunt anything, right? Duo with a shield would have been pretty cool as well. Guess we can create some hand space first. Oh yeah, you seem to be doing just fine. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I just smacked you. You're not super weak, but not exactly strong either. No inferior, so it's annoying, but not insanely bad for us. And we can see how this game already took a very different direction because we recognized their situation and we said, okay, we are low rolling the bets, we have to play defense. That was a really big deal. If we had just gone for high tier triples instead of settling for a Quilber mech, this game would have been a lot worse. I say that as my opponent's coiler is fucking threatening to kill me. Uh, at least they can't get a reset.
I just want to kill some more shit in the back here. Alright, Light Fang dies, that's good. Man, that Coiler Fiesta is really annoying. The, um... The Shielded Myrmidon is actually really good if I get a gem transfer. Not sure if I care for a gem splitter number two right now. I think I still buy it, there's only a few things I want. Hydra, gem transfer. Shielded duo would have been good as well. Close scale roll. One, two, three, yeah. More gear doesn't really help us enough here, I think. And shield on these things would have been so good. So I sell this. I taunt this. I cycle glow scale, or I end on glow scale. I guess I could end on glow scale. For a second taunt. Don't think I'm even gonna bet. Just don't really want or need it anymore. It's just annoying with my hand space. I could have played a second gem splitter instead of the taunt, but I really like having a chance that Leroy doesn't one shot this because I need this to reset my deflectabots. So I really don't like running only one taunt when I do this build. It's so much better to have more chance for reset. And we're getting a lot of gems anyway most of the time because of the taunts. Shield was great. I think skipping the bet is also pretty good, right? Full hand of gems. Little to no upside on the bet. Omo did beat him. But he is cooking, so... So Mackerel is still very, very good. Golden Gem Spitter is a good hit. I think I need a gem transfer. After I get a gem transfer, I have the option to maybe level. Oh, okay. How would you like all the cards you were looking for in one roll? Yeah, that'd be great. Thank you. I do appreciate that. I guess I full gem and then buy for board space. Yeah. And keep this around. Game? No. <sighs> Fuck, man. I can't believe this is acceptable. Yeah. Okay, I bought it. At least, right? And my gems went through. Okay. So I still skipped half my turn because I couldn't do anything I wanted to do and I'm skipping gems. But I was able to buy it. I'm glad I just did like the phantom drag, right? I did like the phantom drag. I was like, let me just, in case it's registering, in case it's registering, let me just drag. <sighs> Jesus Christ, man. Right, another one. Another one is okay. Right, so... Gotta get my bearings. This is out. Oh, I didn't get by the gem splitter though. Oh, because I was afraid it would pull off the board. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. This is always out. I buy this. Do I want a tier? Macro? Or more resets, right? More resets. The fuck is that? I think I'm all in. I could sell this. I could also play it, buy it. Oh, fuck it. Gotta go. Need a reset. 
Hydra is amazing. Big Hydra over big thing? What are they running? I can't tell. I, uh, I can't even position! Was my timer done? Was my timer done or not? I don't even know. God damn it. I'm so tilted by this shit. <sighs> Alright, whatever. Let it go. Get a fucking AoE from your guy, another AoE, 106. If I position right, I always fucking kill him here, right? Alright, I get a reset, I get a reset. And I kill his cleave, okay, we're, we're good, right? But they stay alive sometimes. Need Go left, go left, go left. Yes, okay. <sighs> Jesus, man. Talk about fighting the game. I couldn't see their, their board.